Hi guys, this is Tina from Shabby Dabby Dude. Oh, welcome back to my channel. So I'm here to do Roxy's Weekly Challenge 2024. Um, I haven't done any, I think, this year so far. Um, not because I haven't wanted to, but just I haven't had a chance to. So I wanted to pick up, uh, I'm just looking at my iPad, it's week 13 and it's called book page writing spots slash journal cards. Um, so yeah, I watched this the other day and I thought oh, I'm definitely going to have a go at those because they look really, really nice. So what I have brought along, I've got some sheet music and I've also got some book pages. Now they're quite large book pages. So this is going to be an ideal way to, you know, to get rid of some of these, I think. So I'm just going to take a couple of these and I'm going to take my sheet music as well. And then I've also got some printables, which I'm going to use for the wraparound piece of paper that she had. So if you saw her, she used the book page, then she kind of put some um, printables kind of on it as well. I've got some fly sheet, oops, a couple of bits of kind of fly sheet that I will use for the journaling spots on the back of the journaling cards. And then I've got a variety of different things that I'm going to use as toppers. So if I just kind of pull in a couple of things that I've got. I've got here some um, frames. These are from my, uh, I think it's the Bird Garden um, kit. So I thought they might be quite nice. I've got these from my Pink Posies kit. Um, I thought they might be quite nice. I've got some of my vintage bird toppers. I've got some of my birdhouses, but to be honest, I think these are probably going to be too big. I'd printed them on two to a page. I think I could have done with printing them four to a page. Um, and then I've also got my ladies, um, vintage ladies in the frames. Again, I think probably they're going to be too big. We shall have to see how this goes. I might have to stop the video and print some extra bits and pieces. But failing that, I also bought along a few children's book pages which have got various little pretty images that I thought that I could use on these as well because actually Rachel did make one with a yeah I'm just having a look at the the thumbnail yeah she did make one with some you know little kind of children figures so yeah let's kind of get started now she made hers I mean she made them really simply so she kind of folded in an edge, really. So rather than like fold the whole book page doubled in on itself, she folded in an edge and then she took it down. So I'm going to just fold mine in like this. Oh gosh, now look, already. Oh my goodness, I've only just started and already look at my awful, awful, awful uh, folding. It's, it's not good, not good at all. Um, so yeah, I'm going to do it like that, I think. Now I have to say, my book page is not the thickest, so I'm wondering whether hers was perhaps thicker than this, because I'm thinking mine are going to be too thin. Do you know, I, yeah, I'm going to take mine over because I loved hers, but to be honest, I just don't trust myself to not tear it. So I'm going to actually do it like that. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to just do, I think, two to a page. So if I now, do I want to, yeah, I'm going to glue it together, I think. So I've got my Anita's Tacky Glue. Let's hope it's going to play the game and cooperate today. So just going to go down like that. Okay. And yeah, into there. And then just a little bit here. Hopefully I'll catch somewhere roughly where I'm going to be cutting it into, into half, I think. Um, and then I'd get two per per page if that makes sense so like that and then just take this one over the top yeah I'm wondering whether her book page was thicker than mine because to be honest now I've come to look at them I just think oh that's going to be really flimsy if I just double it like she did so I think I need to you know have the extra step of actually you know making it double thickness like this so I just feel more comf confident with it like that. So that's my book page. So I'm just going to do that with all of these. Now, again, what I've done is I quite like, see this edge where they've been torn from the book? I actually quite like that. Um, that sort of, you know, that torn edge kind of appearance. So I'm using that as the top layer. 
rather than hiding it because I think that looks really, really cute. So, like that, okay. Like that, okie dokie. Like that, and then here, just fold that in here. Okay. Like that. Okay. Glue that down. Oops. So I've torn that book page. Don't think that really matters, to be honest. You know, we want them quite rusticy looking. We don't want them, you know, looking like they've just stepped out of the factory. So again, just go down on the other side and squish that down. That's those. And then let's do one with the um, sheet music as well, because I think the sheet music's quite nice. Oh, it's, it's got some detail on the back, but that's fine. I don't mind that. So this one, just going to go in. Yeah, go in here like that. And then I wonder if I'm going to make this too thick by going over. Well, I don't think so, actually. I mean, I like to have things very thick and sort of, you know, robust. So, yeah, for me, this is hopefully going to be, you know, better. So, again, concentrate quite a bit of glue where you think you might cut it on the in half sort of point or you know wherever it is that you think you're going to cut yours so maybe you're not going to cut yours in half so like that okay okie dokie lots of glue around there okay sorry I couldn't see whether that was actually coming out or not so Right. Like that. Ooh. Okay, just turn that over and then smoosh it down. I mean, I might even cut my edges off. I don't know. Let's see how, how these look. So if I cut them in half, they're going to be quite tall. Again, I don't mind that. So, yeah, let's cut this one down here. And then let's take these couple and do them oops, kind of here. Okay, right. So they're not particularly straight, but that's fine. I don't mind that. So then what Rachel then did was she wrapped some um, paper around them. So this is my yellow roses paper so I'm just going to take a little bit of this like that I think now I'm going to tear this down so that we've got a bit of a textured ooh, textured edge not made a very good job of that and then let's do another one as well like that okay So I just need to obviously come down slightly in height for these. Yeah, so... Yeah, shall I take it there? Like that. Now I'm trying to think, did she actually have these full height? I don't think she did. And again, you know, they don't have to be kind of identical to what hers are. You know, I don't know why I'm getting myself hung up with you know oh they must be exactly the same that's not really much fun is it so yeah let's let's just do our own thing and be be confident and um comfortable with what we're doing so that one and then do this one so again just take this one down up there i think okay and then we'll use some other paper in a second as well so as we've just got a couple of different looks okay like that and then this one should we put this one on the 
sheet music. So yeah, let's do that about there. <coughs> okay. Right. And just yeah, take that one round there. I don't know why I've done them all to the right, but funny enough, she said um something in her video about you know putting things on one particular side because she's a left-handed person so yeah but weirdly I thought she was putting them on the right hand side like I am so yeah that's weird isn't it anyway I'm sure it's all fine um I have got some of my new Paris collection papers here so we could have a couple of those I don't especially want the um you know the photograph part but unless we go with some of these ones instead um, or maybe this one yeah so I'm going to just take this one down like that okay that one now do we like it that side or that side I think probably going to go for it this side so yeah so some of these are bigger you know wrapped around more than others if you see what I mean but again I don't think it really matters so that one and then oops move these out the way let's have one from this I think so yeah I think what I have to do is take it down here I missed that photograph. Oops. Have to excuse the back of this. It's obviously one that I had been messing about when I was creating my printables. So just take that down there. And then take it down here. Oh dear. Like that. Okay. here like that and then yeah should we have this on the sheet music yeah let's put that here like that okay and then the last one what other ones have I got here? Mm. Oh, I've also got this from my Yellow Roses, which I love this. So, yeah, this is quite a different look, isn't it? So, with the stripes. So, yeah, let's take this one. And just take this down like that. Okay. Right. Like that. And then just... Okie dokie. Right, so this one, should we put this one on this side? Just so we've got one at least on the other side. Otherwise we've done them all on the same side, haven't we? I mean, like I said, not that that really matters, but yeah, it might be nice to have one or two that are perhaps a little bit different. I don't think I've done that straight now. Oh well, I'm sure that's fine. Right. Okay, so what we're going to do now, we're going to obviously glue our pieces of paper on. So, like that. Okay. Like that. Okay, okay. And then this side. Okay, we're going to glue this one down. Now, again, Rachel doesn't really ever use her ink, does she? She doesn't really ever ink things up. I'm straight away thinking, oh, perhaps I should have inked these 
papers up before putting them down but she doesn't ink and things look wonderful don't they so yeah let's be brave and not ink not ink here so yeah I mean she didn't ink and hers did not you know they hadn't kind of like lost anything by not inking if you see what I mean so let's be brave and do it the Rachel way and not ink so like that okay Okay. This one. Love this. So yeah, this is from the new Paris collection papers. Isn't it just so pretty? It's a really pretty page. Okay, love that. And she made these very simple. I mean, all she literally did after this was she's put fly sheet on the back. And then just one thing as a topper on the front of these. So, you know, she's not kind of got like loads of fussy details or, you know, lots of bits and pieces. She literally put one focal point on. So, you know, they really are very, very quick and easy. And then, of course, you know, if you wanted to then, you know, make them more fancy or make more of them, you could stitch them. You could, you know, you could do other things to them. But... I loved her simplicity of it because actually it's sort of proved that, you know, you don't need to put loads of things on. They can look just as cool and, you know, just as pretty with, you know, just one, one thing on them. So, yeah, we're going to try and do that. And hopefully they're going to look as good as hers did. So I loved hers, I must say. They were really, really nice. Oops nearly put that on the wrong the wrong side look there so yeah really had it down on the back side with the join I mean again not that that would really have mattered you know because actually it would have been yeah it would have been fine I mean that's the beauty of junk journals isn't it we're always saying you know there's no mistakes and actually whatever you do it's still going to look great so I'm sure it would have still looked great And then the last one. So this one, for some reason, I'd done the piece of paper very small. That wasn't really intentional. This was the first one I cut. And yeah, it's just gone very small. Um, we'll see how it looks. If it looks too small, then what we could always do is, you know, chop the size of the actual piece down. But let's move this up a bit. Have it a bit higher on this one. Like that. Okay. And then we'll just again glue this down on the back. So yeah, if I hadn't have doubled the book page up, even though we're wrapping this round, for me personally, I still think the book page would have been quite flimsy. That's because I'm a very clumsy person. And so for me, you know, single sort of piece of book page is, is yeah, dangerous. I'm likely to muck it up. So then before we put our topper piece on, I want to just put the fly sheet on which is, of course, your journaling sheet. So I'll just grab my, my fly sheet in. So, oops, now struggling to find where my fly sheet's gone. Come on. Oh, there it is. Okay. Right, so my fly sheet actually is, um, you know, the first kind of initial page in a book. So rather than being an actual fly sheet, it's, it's the first page. So, again, we want to obviously have this oops like this now I'm going to just take it in I'm going to just tear it so I think that's you know always a nice look oops like that okay so I'm going to be very rough and rough and ready about this I felt like Rachel was quite rough and ready with her method hope if she sees this she doesn't think I'm being offensive I mean that as a compliment but, you know, she was kind of going with the flow. So like this, I mean, I've actually torn that and it's kind of got a jaggedy edge. I actually think that adds to it and looks, you know, looks really nice. So I'm, I'm glad that's happened. So this one, obviously my sheet music, I can just go in there like that 
and then I'll probably have to take this down slightly because it's actually a bit too too tall so I'll just go in here like that and then I'm going to leave that little torn edge so I'm going to just come down here I think I mean I could have even had this you know as tall as the the sheet makes it to be fair let me just tear that down like that okie dokie and then this one let's just do this one like that okay that one and then this I can just yep so i mean you get a lot out of like this fly sheet i mean obviously this is from what i would describe as a coffee table book so you know it's not a tiny reading book or anything like that it's it's one of those big style books but you know you get a lot of you know a lot of the um journal cards covered by using something like this so it's it's quite cool isn't it now this one i think I'm just trying to decide, do I want to have it bigger or smaller on there? I think probably bigger. So I'm going to go in here, just take it in here on this edge. Like that, okay. Like that. And then here. Like that. Okay like that okie dokie now I then also had one more sheet of fly sheet so let me just grab that here we go so I can use this one for here Oops, this one I'd already folded for something else but that's fine I can just refold that so like that oops Okay, like that, and then down here slightly, okay, right, so that was like five minutes, wasn't it? I mean, we are racing through these because I've just glanced up at the camera and I think we've been filming for like 20 minutes already we've made the bases we've torn out the you know what's going to be the back piece about to glue that down so all that's left then after this is obviously you know any sort of toppers and then tidying up and by the tidying up I mean she clipped her corners and things we might want to say um ink ours up you know we'll see how they look and then she punched some holes so you could then add string or something i think she did add string um you know but you could have whatever you like so like that oops there okay like that and this one last three so yeah they're coming along very quickly aren't they tell me you know below which in which ones do you like best do you like the ones with the this like you know kind of very jaggedy scruffy looking edges or do you like them best when they're very neat and tidy personally for me I like them best with this kind of tatty looking you know edge um yeah I actually think that looks best <laughs> am I in the minority there or do do a lot of you think that that looks nicest it just looks more interesting to me you know than kind of something really neat and tidy i think that looks really kind of quite cool um 
but yeah, might be, might be in the minority there, so, okay. So, like that. Okie dokie. Right. Okay, last one. So, I mean, haven't we flown through these? They've been amazing, haven't they? Right, now I suspect that I'm going to let myself down now <laughs> because I suspect that the actual picking of the toppers is going to be what really zaps up the time. So, yeah, don't be kind of like too, too impressed with our speed. I suspect that I'm about to really let the side down. Right, okay, what I'm going to do, I'm going to line them out so as I can hopefully get a couple done at a time. In fact, I've just about got time, uh, room here to spread them all out. Okay, so that's like that. Let's bring in, right, I've got quite a few different things, haven't I? So we've got our bird houses. Now, like I say, I don't know whether they're going to be too big. They would look rather cute, wouldn't they, I think. So yeah, if I can fit them in, I think that's gonna be nice. All right, let's just take a couple of the bird houses. So and these bird houses, they're just in my Etsy shop. So okay. Let's take a couple of these. And I've printed these onto 230 GSM um, paper and it's photo quality paper. This printable here I had printed onto 120 GSM paper, which is obviously much more similar to a sort of, you know, photocopy type paper. I mean, it's it's much thicker than photocopy paper, don't get me wrong, but and it is still a presentation grade paper. It's not kind of a you know any old paper but yeah okay so the birdhouse looks quite nice doesn't it and then let's do this pink one i'm straight away letting myself down because i'm thinking oh i need to put a bird with the birdhouse so straight away rachel had only put literally one topper on hers and i'm going to straight away be messing about putting a bird on now as well but i think that's okay Okay. Or I've got these little flowers. So I'll just take one or two of the flowers down and then we'll just take one or two of the birds. Okay. Let's take this blue one or the brown one. Oh, I don't know. Probably doesn't really matter. I'm not going to make too much of a big deal about cutting this out. I'm just going to cut it quite roughly. I will ink round it, which will hopefully you know, disguise my shoddy cutting. Kind of done partial kiss cutting, partial <laughs> partial close cut, fuzzy cutting. Oh my goodness, what a mess I've made of that. Okay. There we go. So we could have that one on there. Let's take this one down. It's not really the right colour bird, I think, for this, but never mind. Because it's got the blue on it. I'm just going to put it with this pink birdhouse, but we'll see. If it looks rubbish, I can always cut out a couple of different birds. Okay. Right, this one I've made a slightly better job because I have at least been consistently kiss cutting around this rather than just half kiss cutting, half, you know, close cut, fussy cutting. Okay. Right. I don't know whether I like that one on there or whether I'd prefer it on something else. I don't know. It's quite nice on there, actually. Let's just check. Mm. Actually, maybe that one has to go on here. And maybe this one should go on there, maybe. Right, I'm going to ink them up, so that will probably change how they look anyway. So 
and I've got a couple of these frames so yeah I think for these let's take this one. Oh, do you know what I've got my black frames as well from the vintage tanners I wonder if I've actually got them sat on the desk somewhere no, I don't think I have I've used them recently so I've definitely got them printed out somewhere but yeah I don't think they're here on the desk because they would have looked really contrasty and really good wouldn't they I'm really back into using the black at the moment um I have done for the last couple of weeks in my mass making and yeah, just now looking, I'm thinking, oh my goodness, wouldn't one of these black frames have looked absolutely awesome on one of these? I might have to switch the camera off and have a rummage on the desk and see whether I can find the black ones because now I've got it in my head. I'm like, oh, I really want to do that. It's going to look really, really pretty. Okay. Okay. Right. Again, I am going to ink this. So if you're thinking, oh gosh, that looks rubbish, I am going to ink this up um, before putting it down. Now let's just get my let's just get my book pages and see whether we can have one of these. So I'm thinking this looks rather lovely. Now Just cut her out. Now I am going to just like quite wide fussy cut her if you see what I mean. So she doesn't end up too small and just disappear on the very big journal cards. So. Like that. Okay. Okie dokie. She looks pretty, doesn't she? Now, just thinking, yeah, she needs to go on a smallish one, so maybe on this. Or actually, she looks lovely on there, so I might have to switch this to there, I think. Yeah, maybe like that. Oh, gosh, come on, where's my black, my black frames? I just would really, oh, here we go, here we go. I thought I was going to have to switch the camera off to find them, but hey was on my side and yeah I was able to find them very quickly so these are from my vintage tanners and I mean they're actually a very 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 dark brown but I think they're going to look sort of very striking on one of these so yeah let's just go around there Okay. There we go. Now, which one do we think? This one or this one? This one. Right, what are we going to put on this one? Hmm. Oh, do you know what? I'm thinking maybe a perfume bottle. So, yeah, let me just quickly bring in some perfume bottles. So, hang on. Oh, that's a pink one. Mm hmm. This pink might not really show up the best because obviously that's got quite a bit of pink, you know, here. So I might have been better off with a different colour perfume bottle, but let's give this a try first. So it's just mm, thinking, yeah, probably. Let me just take this one off. Okay, hold on. Let's try this brown one. This one, oh, this is going to be too big, isn't it? This is like now the whole Goldilocks thing again. 
oh, the amount of times that that happens, you know, one's too big, one's too small, you know, trying to find the one that's just right. Oh, always a, always a problem, isn't it? Okay, like that. Okay. I mean, that is quite ginormous on there, it's got to be said. Yeah, I'm not sure. I'm not sure that's quite right, to be honest. Mm, I think that's probably too big. So, yeah, I don't think I can possibly have that. Oh, this is where I'm going to let myself down. What were the other things that I said that I brought along to try? I now can't actually see them anywhere. Oh, I've got these, my vintage ladies in the frames. Let's take one of these because I thought these were going to be too big, but actually, maybe this is going to be better. This is too big. So, yeah, let's try this. Again, so to cut around all these little fussy flowers, just need to kind of kiss cut rather than do it closely. Okay. And then, you know, it's fine because when you ink around them, that just disguises it all and it all looks good. And I know I've talked about this so many times, but honestly, it's so weird because I buy, you know, die cut pieces that are kiss cut and it doesn't bother me at all. And if I kiss cut things, I think, oh, that's really amateurish It's because I couldn't cut it out properly. And yet, why if I buy them kiss cut, does that, you know, not bother me at all? It's weird, isn't it? Very weird. There we go. That looks better, doesn't it? Right, so let's get our ink quickly and ink around some of these bits that we're going to put on. So this one. There we go. Oops. Oh, gorgeous. Absolutely gorgeous. This one. Okay. Like that. Let's just quickly and cut this little oops, picture out of the children's book. Very cute. Quickly do the bird cage. I will just do that hole, you know, where the bird house is. I think you see what I mean, where the bird would be. And then we'll just do the bird itself. There we go. Cute. This one again in that inside the birdhouse, isn't it? That's what I'm trying to say. Inside the birdhouse. And then the bird. And obviously that other frame is very dark brown slash black, so I don't really think the inking's gonna do an awful lot, but just for good practice, we'll just ink that up as well. There we go. Right, so let's glue these down. Now, like I say, you could do other things to fancy these up. Rachel didn't, and hers looked amazing. So I'm just going to follow her lead and, you know, resist the urge to add other things. And it is really hard because my natural instinct is I'm wanting to add other things. But I must just trust that hers looked incredible just as they were and think, you know, these are just some little simple journal card tuck spots. And, you know, they're going to hopefully look really great without anything else needing adding. Okay, that one. And then this little figure from the children's book. Oh, I've been saying for ages, I must do another children's book journal. I still haven't done one. Oh, it's so on my list of things to do. Okay, right, I'm just going to pile these up a little bit so they're out of the way. And then we're going to just do, now she does these little corner notch things, which always look quite cool. So I might do that. Oops. But what I might do is maybe use my, I'm thinking my circle punch, but now I'm thinking, oh, I wonder if I could use my, 
mm, my oval punch I don't know we'll have to have a look and see see what punch I've got that would work best so mm. right that flower there a uh, flower no not flower bird that one and then this here and then I'm just deciding do I want to ink around the edges of the journal cards or not I'm not sure Okay. That one. Like that. And the little bird. Mm. Like that. And then last one. Absolutely just love this black frame. Like, wow. Looks so good on there, doesn't it? So I hope that everybody's having a good day. Maybe you are doing some crafting. I hope you're having a nice time. Again, do share below what you're working on. And I say it all the time, but honestly, it's so inspirational because, you know, anyone who's struggling to come up with a, you know, bit of inspiration, it's really handy to kind of just hear what other people are working on and it might just spur you on. Right, just getting my, my little oval punch here. So this is a very tiny oval punch it's oh gosh two and a half by 1.9 centimeters so what I'm going to do is you see inside where it's got those four little markings just going to put my corner in whoops like that so that I go into the corner if you see what I mean and that's just the easiest way Oops, to get some little corner notches. So, like that. Okay, so this one, I'm going to do it this way round. And then they're going to be sort of stumpy ones instead. So, those were sort of taller ones. These are little sort of stumpy-ish corners. Just a bit of a different, oops, different look. Like that. Oops. Yeah, I mean, they just look quite nice, don't they? I mean, I feel like mine are ginormous compared to Rachel's. I think hers were much smaller than this. But I just, I can't do small for some reason. It always has to be huge. So, and what you could do is vary them. So like this one, maybe we'll just have the corners on that side rather than on all four corners. I actually think that looks lovely. So let's do that on here. We'll do tall ones. Oops, that one and this one. Like that. Just got a little bit there. Yeah, I love those with the just on the one side rather than all four. So yeah, I think that's turned out to be my favourite. Just wondering, oh no. I was just seeing whether I could do something bigger, but yeah, it looks really weird really weird so I don't think we'll bother like that. I love my oval punch I've not used it for a while but I went through a phase of using it all the time and I've got a couple of different sizes because you know it went through a phase of just loving the ovals and to be honest I do really love them for me I think they're nicer than the circle punches I mean the circle punches obviously are very handy for doing like a thumb hole but I think the ovals are really, really nice. So I'm just going to ink my edges. Like I say, Rachel doesn't, and her pieces look fantastic. Um, but yeah, I think for me, I want to want to just ink up the edges a little bit. So just ink around all of them. Okie dokie. Like that. Okay. don't know why I like them inked really why you know I love hers not inked and yet for some reason on mine I feel like they have to be inked I don't know what that's about I don't think mine look very finished off when they're not inked weirdly there we go Okay. 
Right, now at this point, she punched holes in and tied her string round. Obviously, my journal cards are much bigger than hers. Like I say, I mean, I feel like hers were perhaps half the size of these. So I feel like mine would look a little bit lost if they just have like a hole in with some string. You know, I don't feel like that's going to look very good because they're actually way too big to just have something like that. So what I've got here is I've got some ready tied bows. So I might just put little bows on mine instead. So just like that. Okay, and I might do some in the corners and some in the middle. So let's just see. Uh, I wonder whether I could have a different colour. Maybe not. Oh, I've got this. No, that's not going to be. Oh, I should have had that on there, shouldn't I? Didn't even think. Didn't even occur to me to do that. Oh, that one's quite nice. Yeah, it's only just occurred to me really since making mine that I thought, oh, mine look miles bigger. They're going to look stupid with just like a hole and string. Obviously, I couldn't tell that that was going to be the case until they were finished. Um, so, yeah, depending on the size yours turn out might depend on how you finish yours. You know, you might think that yours look better with the hole and the string. You might have made ginormous ones like mine, in which case, again, they're going to look better with, you know, maybe like a bow or something like that. And I'm not necessarily saying a bow. I'm just, you know, putting it out there as a suggestion that maybe maybe the bow is kind of better if they're a little bit on the big side like mine are so that one let's just try the white oh yeah that's pretty there we go oh that looks pretty doesn't it okay and then this one shall i try a green one Okay. Last one. Um, hmm. Do you think this colour kind of ties in the colour of the the birdhouse, doesn't it? Yeah. Let's have that one. Okay. Oh my goodness! Aren't they so cute? And oh my gosh, I mean, we've been filming for oh about 50 minutes, I think. And wow, I've made all six of these already. So they've all got journaling space on the back, um, you know, and yeah, they're just so cute, aren't they? What a lovely way to use up some little book pages. Um, obviously, mine have turned out quite big. Again, you know, perhaps I could come back and make some in smaller book pages because maybe that would be, you know, quite helpful. Um, but they're very, very cute, aren't they? So, yeah, I hope that you like them. Um, you know, obviously, if you haven't watched Rachel's um, original video, then go over and check out her video. It was, I think, week... Oh, gosh, let me look at my iPad again. Hold on. It was... Oh, where is it? Week 13, week 13, book page writing journal spots slash journal cards. So yeah, thank you so much, Rachel, for the inspiration. And yeah, I hope that you enjoyed my take on them. And I will see you guys in the next video. I'd really appreciate it if you could give this video a thumbs up. And I will see you guys soon. Thanks then. Bye.